Oh, hello. Hi, all folks. Um, this is Max from Hi on Android.com. Uh, so, I think uh, I'm doing all these ROM reviews and it's just driving me nuts sometimes. So, I figured I'm going to change the format a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll end the day with something useful that you can learn about Android. Um, so, today let's talk about boot loops uh, and bricking your phone. Um, so, uh, let's talk about bricking. What is brick? Uh, brick is just a phone um, that doesn't, you know, uh, it's it's either in boot loop state or um, it, it's completely dead, like it doesn't power on. There's two types of bricks, um, hard brick and soft brick. Hard brick is when your phone does not turn on at all. Um, you know, this happens to uh, phones like Epic 4G Touch um, happens often. Um, I'm not sure why, but um, I think it's some kind of software issue. And uh, when you do some, when you flash, um, well, if you flash a wrong PIT file on the Epic 4G Touch, you can become in a hard brick state. And I've also seen cases where you brick your Epic 4G Touch while flashing ROMs. Um, it's not it's not the user's fault. It's the hardware, the way Samsung um, made it for the Sprint uh, CDMA. Something to do with the file system, and uh, something went wrong, and that's why it causes hard bricks. But uh, most of the time, if, if that happens to you, then you can go to Sprint, and they'll give you a new one under warranty. Um, so not a huge deal. Uh, but the fact that users have to deal with it, I think, sucks. And it doesn't happen to on any of the other Galaxy S2s. Like, my Galax I have all the Galaxy S2s, like the unlocked i9100. Those are freaking great. You, you can, you'll, I've never heard of a case uh, where somebody bricked a uh, Galaxy S2 i9100. Or the AT&T version, or the T-Mobile version. Um, so, that's a hard brick. When your phone doesn't turn on, um, that's a hard brick. But if your phone does turn on and you see some kind of uh, boot logo, um, you see a fast, like let's say a fast boot f failure mode for Motorola phones, um, that's not a hard brick. That's something you can do to restore. So that's that's something you shouldn't return for warranty. Um, and they might not even take it because it will show that it's in a boot loop or whatever. Uh, but most cases you can fix those. Um, and let's talk about boot loops. How to fix boot loops. The easiest way to fix boot loops, I tell people like thousand times a day, um, they install this ROM and it doesn't boot up. All you have to do is reboot. And usually after reboot, it'll work. If that doesn't work, the first thing you have to do is go back into Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp Recovery or whatever recovery you have. Go in there and there's a menu for clearing or formatting cache. Cache is basically temporary uh, space. And uh, when you install a new ROM, sometimes it gets corrupt uh, with the old data and the new data and your phone might not boot. So clear the cache. And also there's another partition called Dalvik Cache, which you can wipe or yeah, wipe in uh, recovery. So if you do those two, all those boot loop problems, usually 99% of the time will be gone. And you'll be able to boot into... Um, your phone and also uh, if you're using any HTC devices that have S on and you've unlocked a bootloader using HTC dev.com site let's say HTC uh, Evo 3D or the HTC One X and uh, you know you you end up in the, this boot loop state after installing a ROM usually that's caused by the user error um, if you're still S on you have to boot um, not only install recovery, but you have to boot recovery from Fastboot. Um, I have it on all my sites, and some sometimes users they don't actually look at that, and they just install it just a regular, uh, just going to recovery and try to install a new ROM. And uh, if the 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 custom ROM you're installing has a uh, stock kernel, then it will install fine. But if it doesn't, um, then you'll end up in this boot loop. To fix it, um, just basically boot into recovery from fastboot you have to use the fastboot commands and uh, there's other tools but you know the simple ways is use the fastboot for evo 3d there's um, apps like flash GUI and all this other stuff but you know this is simple ways is connected to your computer use fastboot um, flash reflash you know any recovery for your phone and then you know and then once you get into fla uh, once you get into recovery you can do the normal um, ROM install 
So that's you know that's how you get out of boot loops, um, soft bricks, and uh, in the worst case, sometimes this happens when I'm installing ROMs. Um, I just end up in a boot loop no matter what I do, and and then that's a bad ROM. You know, it's it's either bad ROM. Um, or it can be a bad data uh, corruption in your system. That happened to me with AT&T Galaxy Note. Um, actually, I didn't end up in a boot loop, but uh, every time I installed a new custom ROM, it would you know, force close everything, even if I did a, a fresh wipe install. Um, so for those cases, what you can do, especially with the T-Mobile Android devices, um, there's this thing called dark wipe, super wipe, uh, some kind of like wipe thing that you can find on XDA. It wipes your system completely clean and if you do a clean uh, ROM install your phone will f work fine after that. Uh, but that occasionally happens like one out of like a hundred people. Um, so it doesn't happen often um, so that's how you get out of those situations. Um, so we talked about boot loops, soft brick and hard brick. The worst is the hard brick and I've actually never encountered heartbreak except the Epic 4G Touch again. That phone has uh, some problems when they were coding it. And uh, you know what, it's, just, it's not the user's fault. It's, it's just the way they made the system and it, it can just go corrupt on you and your phone just um, can go bad. And actually there's actually a way to um, actually um, make it work again. There's this thing called Riff JTAG box. Basically, you can connect all the wires to the actual chip and uh, recover from that brick. So there's a method for that. But for the average user, average user, you probably don't want to do it. Um, there's actually a guy on the, um, I think something mobile something. This guy on YouTube who does it. Um, you can send it your phone for 50 bucks. He'll do it or something like that. Um, so if you don't have warranty, you can try that route. Um, so in all kinds of Brick situations, there is a way to recover, whether it's through your warranty or through Rift JTAG. But in most cases, uh, most people never get heartbreak. They they end up in a soft break where you can somehow recover. All you have to do is, um, if you have one of the devices I have, then usually I have some kind of unrooting method. So you can check out some of my sites. Um, if you have some other Android devices, I, I get questions for all kinds of Android devices. I don't know why, like, but I tried, uh, I guess, you know, it's, some situations it can help um, as most Android devices are similar. Um, so if you look carefully and uh, look through XDA and all those Android sites, there's uh, answers. So if you try hard enough, you'll be able to get your phone back pretty easily. Um, Android is pretty unbrickable. And I've ever, ne I've never bricked uh, a tablet device. Tablets are pretty, pretty darn solid. Um, so I think that's it, right? I think I pretty much covered everything um, except for like devices I've never tried, like Sony Android devices I haven't tried. Um, uh, the most unbrickable device I would say would be the Nexus phones, like Galaxy Nexus. Um, you can't break that, you know, even if you threw it from, you know, a uh, 15-story building from the roof of it, it, it will not even, you know, you won't even get scratches. That's how cool that phone is. Um, very good deal, $399 now uh, for the unlocked version. Works on T-Mobile, AT&T, and any, any 1900 megahertz international bands. That's, that's like the super deal right now. Um, very good phone. If you're going to get started, you know with installing custom ROMs my suggestion to you is start with a phone that's you know unbrickable like not un, not hard brick um, like Galaxy S2's are really good the, the unlock version or the AT&T or T-Mobile um, Galaxy Nexus um, I mean most phones are hackable but I like the Samsung devices the Galaxy Nexus all the Galaxy devices more uh, they're more hackable HTC is just a pain in the ass uh, ACC introduced that ACC unlock and it's just like what the heck you, they give us uh, unlock unlock bootloader but not s on, s off and it's just like it's like a, a slap in the face it, it, to the users um, they just did it to make their you know company's image look better but what they really did is they actually even locked it more so they can track um, who's unlocking their devices, which is ridiculous. And the HTC have to change that. That's, you know, it's, I don't know. It's, but Samsung is the best because they, uh, they don't lock their bootloaders. Um, 
and uh, it's very easy to hack Samsung devices and I think that's why a lot of developers are moving to Samsung and it, it, you know it's true I, I'm, I'm not buying Motorola devices ever again after Droid Razor and you know I have a I have a bricked um, Droid Razor right here after a SBF fast um, fast boot SBF failure it's in a brick state uh, I mean not hard brick but I can make this Motorola cable and do it I'm gonna do it next week but um, it just sucks that they have to lock everything down um, and uh, it's a lot of things are not you know they, they should be compatible I should be able to flash gingerbread ICS Froyo go back and forth easily just like a Samsung device or an ACC device but I can't do that on a Motorola so that's my complaint um, well anyway we're getting off topic here anyway we talked about bootloaders um, hard brick and soft brick anyway I and I've I've given you those solutions how to get out of them and the, uh, you know the only only situation you can't recover from is hard brick actually actually you can recover with the GIF JTAG if you know how to use it um, so yeah that's that's it anyway that was the rant of today I hope you guys liked it if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button here um, subscribe button up here if you have thanks a lot and uh, there's a share button here. You can share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And I hope uh, I've added one Android brain cell to your brain cell today. If I didn't, um, I'll do it next time. And if you have any general questions about Android, um, please leave in the comments section. I'll try to do that as a next Android help um, video or whatever you want to call this. And let me know if you like this or not. All right, see y'all later.